It is Metro's busiest line, and as many commuters will tell you, it is also the hottest. Passengers say they're roasting on the rails because of air conditioning problems plaguing the BNSF line. CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli live at Metro's Berwyn station with more about what Metro bosses are saying about all of these problems and what they're going to do about them. Vince? Rob, Metro switched to a new safety system on this line last month. When it did so, it altered its schedule. That ended up changing rider patterns, and it resulted in very crowded train conditions. Metro's trying to get an accurate rider count now so that it can adjust the schedule even more, but chronic problems with air conditioners are keeping Metro from doing just that. Riders on Metro's BNSF line are having one hot time. It's very, very hot. Very, very hot. Weekdays, 64,000 commuters step on board Metro's most popular and challenged run. This line has grown and grown and grown and grown over the years. Since altering schedules for a new safety system, riders are dealing with even more crowded trains and broken air conditioners. Metro managers know they have a problem. I literally have heard probably more in the last 30 to 60 days about disgruntled passengers than I've heard in the previous five years I've been on the board. Right now, our key focus has to be getting rid of the hot cars. The BNSF line has 211 cars. 5% are reporting chronic air conditioning problems. Most of those are over 30 years old. Here's a closer look at the problem. The average Metro car carries about 140 passengers and has two air conditioners, one on each side. If one of those is broken, Metro still keeps the car in service. Otherwise, the passengers on board would be forced to make their way onto other already crowded cars. Because of the age of those cars, it can take 10 days to replace the air conditioning system. Metro wants riders to know a shortage of trained electricians adds to the backlog. Can you understand, though, that why the answers might not make sense to them? Um, we try our best. We're moving cars around. Um, we're doing things in the middle of the night to try to alleviate the problem. So the bottom line might not be easy for commuters to swallow. Metro's working on the problem, but it may be several weeks until it's resolved. That could be some hot times on the trains. Metro says it's doing what it can. This is a slice of life on the most popular Metro line here in the metropolitan Chicago area, a line that managers say is stretched to the limit. Reporting live from Berwyn, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. Okay, Vince, thank you for that.